Aloha. Poi comes to us from the taro or kalo plant. And the one that we use for making poi is a wetland variety. And after steaming, it looks like this. Let's make some poi, shall we? To make poi, all we do is take the cook kalo and we take a stone and we mash it. Smell the aroma of this corn that was cooked in an underground oven. After mashing the taro, what we need to do is to add water to stretch it. Poi can last for days or even weeks. However, after a day, poi will start to sour and it will take on a tangy flavor, but it is still edible. This would be perfect for taking on long voyages out in the open ocean. This is how we eat it traditionally, and even today. You use two fingers, you take from the center of the bowl, with a twist, up, and with one motion, into the mouth. Mmm. Ono. Oh delicious.